here, and this is the TLX Detachable Towing Unit by 82 Studio on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on Rock Crawl for this uh demonstration hopefully explanation of how it all works and hopefully it's helpful to you all um it is quite an interesting piece of equipment we get two things we get a a very uh very interesting liftable front weight um and this is um important to the operation of this and then we have uh, this the the unit itself now first of all where do we find the unit as it were the towing unit and that's going to be under miscellaneous and here it is the TLX DTU bundle fifteen thousand dollars it is uh, two slots on console so very slow slow low slot count configuration standard or design one which gives you a uh, box and the design on that box so you can adjust that box to be there's three sizes so if you go with design two there's three sizes basically or three configurations for that and then design three uh, one or two oh yes and then one two three designs of each yeah and then nothing so let's go with design two and the standard main color is the main color of the unit and uh, all the uh, all the colors you expect from a two studio extras that's the extra side bit and you can make it any color you want there now let's see what happens yeah so if you go with the Giants palette of colors six hundred and fifty dollars but I'm sure you could find something you like within the custom colors and it doesn't cost you anything extra right so the weight this is a very um, special weight that comes with this pack and that's found under tools and weights and there there it is a TLX front bull bar six hundred and fifty dollars I think it's two slots one or two slots um, lighting no lighting design one design two design two design two two <laughs> or no so you get basically uh uh standard bulbs or uh led it looks like led a uh, main color again you get to choose any of these colors like so for no charge there if we go into giants colors Oh, wait a minute. Let's go down here. There. No. No charge for colors. Custom, uh, any color. No charge for any color. All right. So, to show you that I did actually get it to work, this is how it's supposed to work. Operate. I have the uh, vehicle here. This is the in-game MAN truck. And I have the base game, or as I say, base game Mack truck towing it around. So that is how it works. Now, now I'm going to show you, or attempt to show you, in one full swoop, um, how this all goes together. So I have the same two vehicles now, just to take, just as a, well, say, side note or an important note if we look at our base game trucks the only truck base game truck oh i haven't tried the volvos yet um that's another side note but the only uh, out of the five base game trucks only the man truck will hook up to that weight and we'll show you that right now let's get in here so um yes it is liftable by hand like so Ta-da! Um, the uh, part you want to attach to the vehicle is this side, and I believe it's something to do with the. I, that's the side you want to hook up. So as you see here, I've put it down. Get into the vehicle, pull forward, and there we go. It attaches like so. We'll show you a little bit about this before we get into the 
um, the tow unit because there are a couple of things, a couple of adjustments you need to know about it to make make sense of what it does otherwise. So we can you can adjust it, L1 and right stick left and right, you can adjust it in and out and up and down with your right stick. So you can just kind of place it wherever you think and now remember this is strictly a uh, just a weight because you will be needing this in a moment uh, r1 and right stick now notice on this little side panel right here r1 and right stick this is a weight adjustable weight does that make sense no it doesn't make sense but i'll show you what it does r1 and right stick up and see that there's a bar appearing on that very st on this side both sides right here see that if we get in our right stick and up it makes that weight heavier so heavy in fact you can tip it over like that now we'll let right stick and down on the right stick or r1 and down on the right stick so very cool uh, infinitely adjustable weight now it says the weight is adjustable from starting at 15 kilograms and all the way up to 7500 kilograms so very cool I mean aside from the other piece this alone is extremely cool piece of equipment um, very cool weight right so hooking up um, let's drop this weight for a second right there we go can we still lift it up when it's uh, yes so we can lift it up no matter what the weight is set at that's pretty cool okay let's back up here I don't know how he did that because I had that set to pretty heavy there we go so this unit will hook up to anything that has a three-point or a five uh, fifth wheel attachment hitch even dollies apparently and he says don't try it but <laughs> you know that goes right so we have it attached now notice the top left corner we have the truck highlighting the truck we have the unit itself and then we have the end if we go into our owned items we see we have the telex unit and we have this end piece so they are separate you can't detach them but they are uh they they appear in here as two different uh items and up on the top left there as your attached equipment appears at two different items this is important as you will see in a moment um right so um again this this will attach to any thing with a fifth wheel right you can put it on these but the front weight will won't fit on there or won't attach for some reason so just so you know okay on with it l1 and x unfolds it and there we go we have unfolded it ready for action now this unit also comes with a winch l uh, get close to it here and press l3 you have the winch now this will only hook up to um anything with a tree a tree trunk so if you're pulling trees around with it you can you must have the the uh, platinum expansion dlc installed purchased installed and active on your map for the winch the winch will not hook up to a vehicle just so you know but it is there just so you know right let's get back in now we have adjustments let's go through the adjustments and then I will show you attempt to show you how to attach a vehicle L1 uh, so it's 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 unfolded we don't need to fold it right stick L1 and right stick right and left pivots that okay L1 and right stick up and down moves the entire lift up and down so you have two adjustments now that's kind of important due to how this operates 
So in order to, uh, we're, we're going to want it as low and down on the ground as we can. R1 and right stick up and down. You can telescope, telescope, telescopic, telescopically extend that. Um, so you have a lot of range. Now, in my testing, you want it as close to the vehicle as you can uh, for best operation. Now, you might have to fool around with that a little bit. L1 and R1, nothing. So that, this is kind of all that happens here. Then if you go on to the end piece, we have another option here. This one says lower TLX DTU axle lift attachment. Now, that's going to be important, uh, but I can't really tell you what it does until I do it. One other thing is, um, and there's a great explanation on the description of this mod, so read over it as well as watch this, of course. And um, David has a uh, has a video on it, um, attached to this, to the uh, mod description on the Giants website too, so it's probably good to watch that too, get information from everything. But you have to get in the vehicle. For some reason, just get in and get out before you attach it. Yeah, in and out. I don't know why. Must be something to do with something. But you must do that before you start this process. At least that's what um, how I understood it. Now, what you want to do here, and it's going to be a little bit... Can we... No, we don't have a view from the the unit itself so there we go we want you want to tuck it underneath a uh, right about there not too far in just about there if we look over here at um at the one i have here actually it's too far i have this one right about um right about there so let's just i want to make sure this is uh, i show this <laughs> It's, there's going to be a little bit of um, kerfuffling. We want this, you want to have this weight close by because I'll show you why in a moment as well. I, hopefully this is uh, making sense to you all. Let's drive up a little bit. There we go. So let's try a right about there. Now you want, what you want to do is highlight the unit itself, not the end of the unit, L1 and right stick uh, up a little bit you want it tilted a little bit so it's angled and then lift it up lift it up lift it up lift it up there we go so you don't have to have it really high and uh, now as you can see we're already running into a weight problem so we're going to have to attach the weight it didn't even get to the where <laughs> where it was obvious that we needed weight. So let's uh, let's adjust this weight here. Let's adjust this weight. There we go. Right. Now, let's go back to our lift. L1 and right stick. Up, uh, up, up, up. There we go. Now that's better. Now, R1 and fasten tension belts. There is a tension belt on there. R1 and R3. The tension belt has been activated. Now L1, nope, now, now the tip and the L1 and the circle. Press L1 and circle. And now it has done something uh, to the whole thing. It's important that you do that. And it has kind of activated the whole thing. And now we should be able to drive away and yes, so success has been succeeded. Now, what the... Uh, now, I'll just show you what it does when you deactivate that. L1 and circle. Now, everything is a little bit... A little loosey-goosey. It still kind of works. But it works better if you do that. And... It works better if you have it as close to the front of the vehicle as possible to um, to attach it. If you attach it too far back, 
If you attach it too far back, back here, it's going to want to lift the whole truck up. Um, you know what? We can show you that. Just so you know what it's looking like. And, and Okay, so we un, undo that one. R1, make sure you R3. Um, and unhook the tension belts. Let's lower it back down. And lower that so you see it's whoops it's it's unhooked now right it's unhinged let's uh so let's um let's hook it up improperly shall we oh actually see see how that's uh wave, wobble, wobbling around that end now that's what allows you to turn turn and not drag the truck around in a stiff manner it's it's allowing it to swivel so that what that is one of the other things that the l1 in circle see i press it now and it straightens out and it's like whoop and that, somehow it adds weight too watch this l1 in circle it adds weight to it and then it becomes um swivelable so l1 in circle again there we go it's like it's active and deactivates the so let's uh let's lower the weight uh whoops let's lower the weight of that so we can um adjust and i'll show you what happens oh it's a little bit uh a little bit too low drag it on the ground there we go so let's put it in a little bit too far shall we there we go and uh, so we've got it quite a ways in there right so L1 tilt it up let's lift it up a little bit R1 and fasten the, the belts and then go to the end piece L1 and circle and Oh, it didn't do it this time. Okay, so maybe I did something wrong before, but, oh, I think I know what. I had the shorter vehicle before. So, it, it, as you can see, I was trying to make it not work and it's still working. So, I guess I must be doing something right. So, there it is. That's pretty neat. Um, so, and it's a little bit of finagling around a little bit of adjusting this making sure this is you can always adjust this weight more or less as i showed you um it works better on two axle trucks i tried it on this one towing this one around it kind of wanted to pick up the whole thing so that's where putting the um putting the hitch closer to the front or as close to the front as you can as it as you can manage as you can see here this works pretty good and then it allows for the swivel action for you to to be able to turn now if we go in here and disable that yeah it's still it's still uh It works both ways. Some you might want to fool around with it. Sometimes it works better with it on. Sometimes it works better with it off. But anyways, that's about as much as I can figure out how it all works. Hopefully, um, hopefully that has explained and shown you the operation of it as closely as I can manage. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and that's the. TLX Detachable Towing Unit by A2 Studio on Farming Simulator 22. Thank you all for watching. I'm Lily Farm Guy. And remember, it's only a game. So till next time, bye for now.